Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be creating a detailed view. So let's go to our main dot storyboard. And once again, I'm going to hit Command Shift L to open the object library. And this time, I'm going to look for going to look for view controller. I'm going to drop that view controller somewhere around here. Okay. And now I'm going to select this yellow button and uh, hold Control key and drag and drop into this new view controller to create a segue okay so this is how we're gonna get to this uh, this screen now uh, this next screen from here okay so we're gonna name this segue um, like detail now alternatively what you could have done is you could drag directly from the cell to this uh, uh, to this view controller now what that would have done is uh, that would have created a segue on cell selection so as soon as you tap on the cell you can actually uh, move uh, to that uh, to that view controller wherever you have created the segue to uh, reason we didn't do that because we want to have like more control over um, over what segways are being triggered and if you create a segue from view controller to view controller and you put the put identifiers on them you can actually trigger those segways based upon your own conditions in the code which is more production level code than uh, than doing this uh, like you know than doing this and what we are trying to learn here is how to write efficient production level code so that's why I'm not teaching you all those other techniques but you can obviously try it out and see for the learning purposes although this technique is much more important because in the professional world this is what you're gonna see people doing okay so with that said let's go ahead and uh, create a new class for this view controller and we're gonna touch we're gonna select coca touch class and I'm gonna name this one detail view controller and we're gonna find a place and save this all right once this is saved uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna create a variable selected data of type string and this is an optional now what we want to do is uh, we want to actually show this data um, so let's remove this first gonna show this uh, whatever whatever you have selected onto the screen somewhere so uh, I'm gonna put a label so once again command shift L and gonna put a label at the center of the screen uh, we're gonna give this a background so I'm gonna select the same background and give this about uh, maybe 200 points in this case and gonna center this so Center in container and then give it a color white. There we go. And uh, control command space to select a new guy. There we go. Okay, so this is what we're gonna show. So we're gonna show this uh, whatever you have user has selected 100 points larger. Um, and then uh, we're gonna go to our detail view, create an outlet. So at IB outlet require uh, data label UI label okay and let's go back to our view controller and select our view controller go to outlet inspector and look for that outlet that we have just created oh we didn't give it a class so let's first make sure that we have custom class detail view for this particular detail view for this particular view controller and then we see data label okay so now we are ready okay so this is something that's a, that's a, a, a very common mistake that I've seen especially when you are starting to use and you don't know like you know the life cycle of these uh, view controllers so you could say self dot data label dot text or basically create a did set and say whenever this selected data is set do data label dot text is equal to um, whatever that selected 
data is okay i'm going to force unwrap it because that's not the issue uh, the issue is something else i want to show you what the issue is uh, by crashing the app uh, first so what you're going to do here is um, uh, we have the selected data and uh, we can uh, trigger uh, a segue uh, once the once the uh, item is selected so we can say self dot perform segue okay and we can give detail as identifier and sender as selected data so this is how you can pass a data uh, to your um, to your segue uh, through your segue okay so we're gonna send this uh, this selected data into uh, perform segues sender uh, property and uh, for this to work uh, basically we are gonna have to uh, implement this override this function uh, prepare for segue sender and we simply gonna say if so here uh, we're gonna do a few checks uh, okay so our checks are going to be first of all guard let selected item is equal to sender as string else we don't know what kind of sender it is so we can simply return if segue dot identifier is equal to detail then we can say guard let destination view controller is equal to segue dot destination as detail view controller so if we know the segue identifier is equal to detail that means it could be the destination is detail view controller if you can resolve that as well then good otherwise return if you can resolve all these then we're gonna say if let index sorry destination vc dot selected data is equal to basically uh, we're now gonna say selected item so whatever we have received right here okay and uh, that's 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 about it so um, so now uh, we have our uh, selection performing the segue and we are set passing our data to the segue through sender and we're gonna receive that and prepare for segue uh, and then try to set that into the destination view controller now let me run this and uh, take a look uh, and guess uh, if it's gonna work or not and uh, try to guess why it's not working so I'm gonna click on it and what we get is a fatal error saying unexpectedly found nil now you can spend hours debugging this but this issue is so cryptic that as if you're first time doing this you're probably not gonna know what's causing this issue let me show you so detail data if you, if I say data label you'll notice that data label is actually nil so what happened basically what happens is um, your uh, your selected data is already uh, initialized along with this uh, View control, data view control, detail view controller, and it's being set now. Now, your data label hasn't has the opportunity to be created within the view controller because view controller is not initialized yet. All right, so uh, that's why when uh, you're trying to set this data label dot text to select the data, you're gonna get this error. Now, believe me, uh, this this looks. This sounds like you know something uh, a very trivial, but it actually throws a lot of people off. So I just wanted to show you what the right way is. So what we do is you simply wait for a view read load because by that time you know all the views have been laid out, all the data has been set related to the view, all the constraints have been set. Then you're ready to tackle and set text for that data label. So you can say selected data. You can even do it in view data appear, but something of a lifecycle for the view controller, not directly 
like you know inside straight like uh inside the uh, view controller class you have to rely on some life cycle um some life cycle method to complete before you can set this okay so let's go ahead and run this and see if this one works and i've tested it so that's why i know it works okay so there we go we have our dog showing up if you go have back we have our lion showing up and we have our froggy and uh, this uh, duck okay so yeah so this is how you handle cell selection and like i was telling you uh, because we have this navigation controller because we wrapped this inside the navigation controller we are getting this um back button for free we didn't do anything extra for this so we're getting this for free so that's actually an awesome thing now there's something else you can do is you can say self.title which is the navigation title for this one is equal to um you can say selected data details like so so if i run this um well what's gonna happen is gonna actually show me an optional so let me force unwrap this because i know by this time this is gonna be there um okay there we go so this details this details like so so this is how you can set your um your view control is title uh, from the uh, if you have a navigation bar uh, from the code okay all right so uh, this is the end of our uh, selection video and um, thanks again for watching